Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is my training day camp client, Knox. Look at his teeth. <laughs> I have tried to film this. <laughs> I know, Knox, I know. I have tried to film this clip probably 14 times. And I just, I start talking and then I'm like, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares about what I'm saying. So anyways, I was gonna start this video on, ooh, Monday. <laughs> Don't mind my house, please. I have four boarding dogs at my house and I've got knocks now. So I wanted to start this yesterday. I got a bunch of B-roll. So I'm gonna put that in right now and I'm gonna talk y'all through what I did because I had a really, really busy and successful day yesterday. If you're new here, hopefully you haven't clicked off yet. <laughs> I'm Taylor and I am a personal trainer and dog trainer and I own my own business and I've been very, 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 very busy recently, which I'm super blessed, super, super grateful for. But I think I need a better work-life balance, y'all. I'm not lying. After exercising my dogs, I headed off to one of the shelters that I partner with and I helped the volunteers couple up a few dogs for proper socialization. Skye is the husky and Elvis is the hound dog and this was their first time being in the yard together and they had a blast. Skye is still available for adoption. This is Buzz and he is a nine-year-old pit. I promise you if I had a bigger place, I would be either fostering him or would have adopted him by this time. He is an absolutely amazing dog. Buzz and his sister, Belle, were surrendered at the same time and then put in the same kennel together where unfortunately they ended up having a fight. After their fight, the volunteers completely separated them to two different parts of the shelter and they haven't seen each other really since. So I grabbed both of the pups, I walked the volunteers through how we were going to properly socialize them and get them to bond again and it was absolutely incredible and I can't wait to show you guys the next clip. I'm so, so, so proud of them. Buzz. Yes, good boy. Good job, guys. There we go. Look, vulnerable, not a threat. Back to her, happy. Happy and ready to be put back together again like they were before their fight. I'm so proud of them. Yeah. He's so like, look, you're my sister. You're not a threat. We had a knockdown drag out for a second. Now we're good. I started my day off today with a 6 a.m. virtual personal training client. And then Knox was dropped off. And then I had to rush out of the door and I had to go run a session with a brand new client. It's two ladies and they are fostering a dog um, from one of the rescues that I partner with. And his name is Obi. Choose one side that you want him to be on and then keep them on that side. Keep it consistent. Good, relax your arm and breathe. Good, beautiful. Look at him looking at you. He's checking in with you. This is beautiful. I took a nap. I took like a 15 minute nap and I feel like a brand new person. It's crazy what a lack of sleep can do to your body and I stress sleep to my personal training clients so much, but sometimes you get caught up in not practicing what you preach. But now I'm pack walking. These are my last, I'm sorry, but the camera angle's not that great. Um, these are my last three dogs to pack walk for the day. I've been on three pack walks and then I'm actually, because I didn't get to work out today, I had too much to do and too many training sessions to take care of today. So I am gonna work out with my personal training clients tonight. I haven't done that in a while. I normally work out by myself, but so hopefully I'll get some clips of that. Hey, thanks for sending me that video. Go ahead and put the long line on her that you have and start near your dining room table and then just walk cool, calm, confident like it's not a big deal with her on the long line. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I have already had one training session this morning 
and it was a brand new client and we worked on a little bit of recall. She has a Bernadoodle and this dog is so incredibly smart and has had several trainers come in and out of their life and she just has not been able to get the help that she needs whenever it comes to recall and the dog seeing her as super high value rather than seeing the squirrel as super high value, right? Um, and so I was trying to explain nature and nurture and prey drive and anyways, it was an amazing session. Now currently I'm at a local park waiting for my other clients to show up and this time we're gonna be working on human reactivity and dog reactivity with these two dogs and I love training them. They're just, they're, great, great, great dogs. They just need a little bit of guidance. So five weeks ago, we wouldn't even been able to get anywhere near this close to strangers with Piper. We've worked hard. Her owners have been amazing. Look how far we've come. After giving my clients some mental and physical stimulation, I ended up taking the muzzle off of Piper and working with her one-on-one -on -one with some fun little agility and brain game activities. I am so proud of her. And y'all are gonna crack up at this next clip. My next session of the day was with a rescue pup named Hawkeye. He was recently adopted from one of the rescues that I partner with. And in this session, we took him to a large lake slash park and worked on desensitizing him to strangers and water. Honey girl. Honey girl, are you ready for your training session? Are you ready? That's a good girl. And this is socializing, right? They don't have to be in each other's business to socialize. Later on in the week, I went back to the same shelter that I talked about earlier in this video, and I worked with some of the volunteers on properly socializing a few of the dogs that they thought would never be able to socialize properly. And then I walked inside and pet some cats. <laughs> they have the sweetest little kitties there and actually the kitty cat that's in the background is 15 years old. After that training session, I came home and was home basically for the rest of the day with my board and train clients. These are just two of them, Mac and Milo. And then I had a personal training session with one of my clients and that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.